We begin today's program in Malaysia, where we will hear about a Rohingya refugee who had been working in the country for two years before he discovered that he had colon cancer. Unable to afford any form of treatment on his own, a kind soul directed him to Tsiji, where the volunteers stepped in to help the young man. This is Maud Noor bin Maud Hussein, a Rohingya refugee from Myanmar who has been working in Malaysia for two years. He recently fell ill. I went to the hospital but didn't have the money. I went to the pharmacy in the hospital and the doctors told me I needed to have surgery but it would cost 14,000 Malaysian dollars. I started to cry at the hospital. Where would I ever find that much money? Then I finally met an old man who drove me on a motorcycle to the Zuji Dialysis Center, and he said to go inside and the people there would help me. Since receiving the diagnosis of colorectal cancer, religious teachers and Suji volunteers have been by Maud Noor's side. They listen as the doctor explains the treatment procedure. At this stage, the tumor must be physically removed. He will need to have an external colostomy bag to defecate. Both of Modnor's parents have passed away, and he has no close family here. In a state of loneliness and grief, he tries to keep eating to stay healthy. I feel much better. You have given me warmth. It feels like you are just like a mother to me. I feel so comforted that you are all caring for me like this. After 25 rounds of electrotherapy, Maud Noor anxiously awaits the results and prays for a positive outcome. We have so much gratitude. Thank you, Zhiji, for helping Maud Noor. Thank you for all of your help. To help Maud Noor on his path to recovery, Suji has also arranged for him to stay in a care center where he will be fed three meals a day and where professional caregivers will look after him while he recuperates.